Hey guys, I just want to do a little update on my last video, which was a server chassis swap from a Norco 4020 20 bay server case to a Supermicro SC84624 bay server chassis. And uh, I just wanted to post an update here to that video. But here, this video is uh, showing the old Norco in action uh, before I did the swap and um, you can see I don't have it in the most optimum of server closets right under the air conditioner there uh, but I've got a great drip pan so here's the uh, internal the new super micro case I moved everything into this was uh, just a stock photo before the swap but uh, here's the add-on the bug bit me I I had 24 three and a, three and a half inch uh, trays bays for uh, hard drives and I figured what else could I add on well I need some spaces for two and a half inch trays so maybe I could do this with an add-on JBOD and the solution to that is pretty easy here is a uh, super micro card that's pretty inexpensive uh, and it just goes in the SC 216 case like that this photo shows here and um, basically gives power power button works and everything and then to get the hard drives to my host bus adapter in the host uh, chassis I, I use these cards and it, it makes everything pretty clean uh, each each cable will uh, handle four drives um, so I needed a total of of six of those to handle the four drives and then my new case I had a broken front panel connector here which uh, the seller eventually was able to come up with a part couldn't find it online that FP 26 button but uh, scored it then here's the new um, server in action uh, you see I, ne I might need a bigger uh, UPS supply there but um, and you can see on the bottom there the add-on JBOD enclosure working I only have the first two slots populated so far but um, and this was before the buttons were updated so there's no lights there but um, uh, everything went off without a hitch uh, pretty easy add-on um, and uh, there's not much to it and just a great deal of expandability that that I have now a lot of room to grow into um, currently at uh, around 56 terabytes on this server I've got um, 19 or 20 three and a half inch drives and a couple SSDs down the bottom I'm using that for a cache drive and uh, VM uh, storage drives uh, for my Unraid system and if you guys haven't checked out Unraid um, it's a great solution uh, for uh, virtual machines NAS, the whole nine yards.